Never have I met such disgusting, such perverts. Funny is a perfectly nice name, whatever the connotation. I'd kick them in the family jewels if I weren't too late. again, sirs. Tell me, pretty. You in charge of the bedding, too? No, no, I I'm just a waitress. Then why don't you wiggle back for some more ale, eh? Sweet cheek. Horrible seekers. I never saw such boorish behaviour in my life. Oh, would you, Slayer? Thank you so much. Another one to add to the collection. <clears throat> An identical twin. Don't see long. Huh? What? What? Who are you? <laughs> you f you're so funny. <laughs> oh, but Elsa of the Inn. I don't know where to begin. You bring the finest beer. I want to unhinge your brizzy. <laughs> this here Slayer wants some bruises, guys. Seekers! What in the name of the Divine is going on in here? Sir! Well, sir, we... <gasps> You're blind drunk! This is an outrage! Slayer, tell me what transpired here. Inebriation. Disrespectful conduct and use of force. You men are a disgrace to our order. Get back to the barracks on the double. I'll send you lot on a punitive mission before the sun has set. Another one to add to the collection. Oh, you did it! They're gone! I really feel I should reward you. Yes, of course. He'll be happy about it too. Lieutenant sure gave them an earful. Nobody will look for a sack of gold in a bush by the chapel. And you kept your word. I'll make sure my prices drop each time you happen to fancy some of my wares. Elsa and I are right grateful. You're always welcome in the Black Boar. Those rowdy rascals are gone. Finally, 
The show can go on. Good day, young slayer. What can this man of medicine do for you? Simple protection. Contrary to what you seem to think, it wards off something quite real. The insidious art of mind reading. Oh, no, 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 no. Someone could um, steal valuable medicinal recipes. Yes, that's the reason. But of course. Disturb my musings. Better check my storage for rats. So many of them in there. I use them as a password. A slayer? Hmm. The title is impressive, but from the looks of you, you've never seen a dragon other than in books or on tapestries. Well, until then, the description slayer doesn't fit you. But you may address me as Hunter. You see that giant boar's head mounted over the hearth? That beast terrorized the valley and claimed the lives of many huntsmen before I killed it some years back. And that is what makes me Rivalon's best hunter. But off with you now. I don't enjoy conversations with amateurs. Another one to add to the collection.
if it isn't the champion of Alaroth. In the flesh. Right, Grand Wabbit champion soldiers. round. Not you, Lily Don't Liver, you miss the city, beans. though. Slayer, please, up here. I'm trapped up here, haunted by goblins. They took my grappling hook. Please get it back. Marvelous. Let them have it, Slayer. right over there. Good. Finally, I'll be able to get off this tower. The grappling hook. Please, throw it up to me. Got it. I'll be down in a minute. Thank you, Slayer. Those goblins would have gotten to me eventually. We always scout the woods in teams of two. But we were ambushed by an unusually fierce and organized pack. Didn't make it. He panicked and ran off, leaving me to face them bloodthirsty creeps by myself. I managed to get up the tower, but I lost the grappling hook in the process. That was several hours ago. The coward obviously didn't even warn the other guards. If you say that again, I'll give you the pleasure of confronting it. His name's Peavy. You can find him in the barracks watch platform. I'll inform Captain Rodney. We'll have the little pest in shackles in no time.
Another one to add to the collection. Die! The morning to you, slay it. Fair enough when rain will fall and them goblins keep to themselves. Mind you, that new order of sorts a wee bit of a pain in the old backside. Some of them have taken over one of my barns, but I reckon they'll be gone soon enough. Aye, right, be safe now. Slayer. Here. Do you mind doing me a favor? Why must Carl keep that key up on a beam? I can never reach it. Wait a minute. Maybe that's why. Wonderful. Please bring this letter to Derek, the blacksmith in the village. But don't tell my husband. It's uh, private, you know. We always get stuck doing guard duty. Hail Slayer, the new order greets you. Oh, Elizabeth, if only I could win your heart. Regardless, I put value in some decorum. So tell me, how can I be of assistance? Very well. Just shout when that changes. Hello, Slayer. I bet you've got more exciting things to do than we have. Those are new order pigs, okay? <laughs> Very funny. Please, leave them be. They'll be shipped to Rivertown soon. Shiny.
shiny. Shiny. Shiny. Another one to add to the collection. Shiny. This is an old and dusty diary. Carl Jackson's name is on the cover. The booklet is filled with boring information about crop rotation and livestock, not to mention the worst spelling you ever saw. Suddenly, your eye is caught by a passage about a man named Booth and how he apparently wooed Carl's wife. Carl murdered Booth. Even though he expresses guilt, he sure is glad he was never caught. Shiny. Shiny. Hello again. Hey, what are you on about? A diary? You had no right. Oh, no, 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 this can't be. Dina, she don't know. There is? Just you tell me, Slayer. Anything. Oh, I... <laughs> I see where you're going. Here's 50 gold. It's all I have in this here world. What do you say, eh? No, damn you. I won't rot in some drafty dungeon. I'll do ye as I did, boo! By the divine, I can't take this anymore! I'm going to dirt! I'm going to the man I love! Shiny. 
shiny. <coughs> hey, Slayer, those are new order pigs, okay? All right, then. <coughs> Hail again, Slayer. So tell me, how can I be of assistance? Such as? Then we have a duty to save them. Off we go, Seekers. With pleasure. Slayer, why did you send us on a wild goose chase? There are no gorgeous triplets in the woods. Exactly. I mean, we're here to help, you know. <clears throat> but hold on, where, where are the pigs? Hmm. And I suppose that's the last we'll hear of it. Okay, and since you ain't no bird, you're of no interest to me. Yeah, but I've spotted plenty of nagging ninnies. Yeah, yeah, just beat it, will ya? Next time, I'll make sure I'm the one strutting at our town, and Richard can get the ants out of his armor in the woods. Bloody hell, Richard. How long must I wait here? Shiny.
lucky the goblins can't see you worms right now. They'd laugh their ugly green asses off. Another disturbance. What is it with you people? Can't you see I'm busy? You're too late, Slayer. I know well what's in that letter now that Dana is here. Thanks for agreeing to deliver it for her, though. I have to get back to work. Money. I'd spend it on drinking girls, but that's just a suggestion. Where did you hear that? All right, all right. I'll pay you in full. The goblin hearts are the most lucrative, but I do have another scheme in mind, if you're up for it. See, Rivertown is struck by a famine, but Adeloth isn't doing much better. Well, damn the bellies in Rivertown, I say. They can starve in agony, for all I care. Adaroth is my responsibility. But that blasted New Order only has eyes for that two-bit town. They've been collecting food here all week. Well spoken. The food stocks are stored at Jackson's farm. Go there, get rid of the Seekers, and inform my associate, Mouse. You did, did you? What did you talk about? Anyway, tell him about our deal, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck. You're back. My peace. Are they safe? That is fantastic. Oh, here is your reward, Slayer. I am so grateful. Hello again. Just fine. Thanks to you.
What should I do? What should... Oh, Slayer, I didn't see you there. Do I? No, I'm fine. Yes, I'm okay, really. What? You... you know? Oh, no, I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. There were just too many of them. I... I panicked. Yeah. I know. I'll never forgive myself. Ever. You are right. Perhaps I can still make amends. I will try, Slayer. PV, you are hereby under arrest. I... I guess there's no other way. Let me just say, I'm sorry, Quincy. I'd accept your apology. If you hadn't hoped I'd die out there so your cowardice would remain a secret. Take a good hard look at the daylight, PV. You won't be seeing it again for quite some time. Off you go. Swing those swords, maggots! A satisfactory outcome. You have my warmest thanks, Slayer. Don't be hasty, I was coming to that. Here's a handful of well-deserved gold. Be careful out there, and make sure it won't become goblin loot.
Hail again, Slayer. So tell me, how can I be of assistance? A noble undertaking, I'm sure, but I have my orders. These crates must reach Rivertown. Elizabeth? Lonely? Really? Tom, Lionel, pack it in. We, uh, we've been ordered back to Broken Valley. Oh, finally. I'm buying, Tom. Shiny. What now? Must have cost you a pretty penny. All right. I'll see to the food. You can tell Richard everything will be taken care of. Catch you later. Another one to add to the collection. <clears throat> ah, you're back! What news? I would have used steel, not verbal persuasion. But that was your choice. Well done, Slayer. Richard of Araloth is very grateful. Take this gold, and if you should ever visit the Gila City, give my regards to General Luxurious. Door won't open. Poor Carl. Why did this happen? I never wanted it so. I love Dirk. We've been having a relationship for almost a year now. With poor Carl dead, there was no reason to stay at the farm alone. I just hope I'll be happy here again. No, I... I never! Oh, I, I feel so wretched! Poor Carl! Why did this happen? I never I want... I suppose you had to, but... Oh, please, leave me in my misery.
I can't move this. Another one to add to the collection. Another one to add to the collection. Another one to add to the collection. Another disturbance. What is it with you people? I guess so.
shiny. I leave for Adaroth in the morning. Buy supplies before it's too late. Memento et iam domine famulorum famulorum ketuarum. This will help. The ghost of Arban thinks of his shield, how it was lost in combat with Orobas, and how it must still be there in the crypt the dragon fled into. I repose here, the spirit of one who was once a slayer. Duel me and emerge victorious. Only then will you be worthy of my regard. Congratulations, Slayer. The 
A memory ritual has not deprived you of all your former powers. I was undefeated when I was alive, but your death would not benefit me. Quite the opposite. And This purse has the name Linda embroidered on it and contains a handsome amount of gold pieces. It was going to end up in a merchant's pocket anyway. This is an old and dusty diary. Carl Jackson's name put the diary... Shiny.
Living as Boetia. There you are. Marius informed me he spotted the Dragon Knight. But tell me, did you defeat whoever's ghost was in that tomb? Did you say Arban? You met the ghost of Lord Arban? But... but he was a legendary slayer. He led the attack on the stronghold of Oribus, once one of the mightiest Dragon Knights. After his retirement, he withdrew into obscurity. No one could have imagined he died here, in this little hamlet. And you have his sword. I'd recognize it anywhere. And it will. But not by your hand. You have proven you are worthy of the title of Dragon Slayer, and therefore I won't allow you to join us. I foresee great things for you. It would be a shame if they were unrealized because of ill-timed heroics. The dragon memories are too fresh a presence in your psyche. Talana's mind attacks would see your doom. The role of our order shall not diminish, not before Rivalon is free of all her foes, and you know too well our world has far too many. Come now, give me the sword so that Lord Arban's wish may yet be realized. And don't be saddened by the events of this day. You will make your name as a hero yet. Mmm, nice. Domine famulorum, famulorum ketuarum, qui nos prices.